Hi guys, welcome to tonight. Yes, tonight we are having a dirty loaded nachos. Yeah, and the reason why I called them that is because they are dirty to me. There's a lot of toppings, and yeah, look at that. Look at that big old thing. But anyway, I am starving. Um, I waited for a long time to do this. Of course, you all know I do my mukbangs usually in the evening time. Sometimes during the day, it just depends, but. But anyway, um, on my dirty nachos tonight, I have, let's see, sour cream, onion, tomato, shredded cheese, um, uh, jalapenos, salsa, taco sauce, uh, avocado, corn, black beans, and then I got some sides of pepperoncinis, and I think that's it. I hope I'm not forgetting anything. I don't think I am, but um, I forgot my queso and cheese, but it's all right. I'm sure it won't go to waste. But anyway, um, how are you guys this evening? I'm doing wonderful. Let's get the first bite. This might be. Yeah. Not that great of a first bite. It might be messy. Just bear warning you. Thank you all for subscribing and supporting me. All my newbies and oldies. I love you all. And if this is the first time for seeing my channel, please consider liking, comment, and subscribing. Let's get to that 1K. We're almost to 900. Share my videos. Um, press that like button. Press the notification so you know when I upload. I just love nachos. Who doesn't love nachos? I think you can put anything on nachos. My husband's eating chili dogs. Oh. <laughs> Don't lose your hot dog there, dear. Of course, you all know I had to crave for something like um, Mexican. -y. So good. I've been on a pepper and chini kick lately. Yeah. Every time I eat nachos, it reminds me of Sauce Queen when she eats nachos. I miss her so much. But if you guys follow Sauce Queen, she wrote in her community tab what, what's been going on and why she's been gone. It's so sad. Just keep her in your thoughts and prayers, please. I can't imagine. I can't imagine me in that situation. Uh oh. But she will be coming back. I'm not going to say um, why she's been gone for so long. What's been going on. Um, 
y'all can go over there and look at her community tab and she already she already said it but I don't feel like it's my place to um, say what's been going on but yeah every time I eat nachos it reminds me of her and her um, misty story times I love her misty story times Kristen, I love you, dear. I don't know if you'll ever see this video, but you're in my thoughts and prayers, honey. Mm. Your chili dog's good. Hello. Very good. Sorry, guys, I'm licking my fingers, but finger looking good. <clears throat> I don't want to take the time out to wipe my fingers with a napkin. <laughs> but I will for my face though. Try to. Thank you all for watching my last video of me and the hubby doing those crazy death noodles. Oh my gosh. Sorry, you guys, if you heard that. That's why. Oh, my Lord. But, yeah, that challenge was something else. So good. It's been a long week. It seems like it drags. See, my week is like from Tuesday to Saturday. Because the hubby is off on Sunday, Monday. So, I'm here while he's at work with three kids. From Tuesday to Saturday. And I don't go nowhere. So, when Sunday comes around, and Monday, I try to at least go somewhere on Mondays. Um, Sunday, hopefully, here pretty soon we'll be able to go back to church and everything. So we would be going to church on Sundays. But Mondays, it's usually run day, but I still got school for the kids. But I at least want to get out shopping, go window shopping, do something. Because it can drive you crazy. Oh, you know what I've seen um, on Facebook? I mean, you can't always right. you can't always um, believe, believe everything you see on Facebook. But I know this is real because it was in the news. Hmm. And, the, and the dad has a goof on me and everything for it. Hmm. It was crazy. Okay. I forgot where it happened though. But. 
this mother, 32 year old mom, mm -hmm. um, she, she had a, um, a five year old son, a three year old, uh, I think daughter, and then an eight month old baby boy. Mm -hmm. And, uh, with her last baby, she got what called was a psychosis postpartum. Mm -hmm. And um, what that is is where you like get hallucinations, mm -hmm. you see things. Um, it's actually worse than postpartum. You actually need to get like major medical help, like big, like quick. Right. Because postpartum is bad enough, you know. Right. But psychosis postpartum, crazy. Well, she ended up, yeah. Taking all children's lives mm. from having that. And her baby was like eight months old. Hmm. So she like had it that long. Horrible. And I guess she was getting treatment, but evidently not enough. 32 year old, beautiful lady. They look happy, her husband. Okay. Like he's in total shock. No um, but he did forgive her. And what she did, she tried to, you know, herself by jumping out of the window. Hmm. She wasn't successful in taking her life? Mm-mm. Hmm. So she's being charged with, you know, yeah. the deaths of her kids. Yeah. Which it came back that... That she was it's really sad. Mentally mm -hmm. unstable. Mm -hmm. So, like, people are writing on Facebook that the dad should never forgive his wife and all this. Mm -hmm. Now, could you guys, if your spouse, either you're the mom or dad in this situation, could you fit? To, could you forgive your significant other if they took the lives of your children because of a mental illness could you honey i can even fathom that happening here like if i was in that situation and i i partaked in that and did what she did could you forgive me some people say he should never well, if I knew you had a mental illness, I would hope that I would. I can't imagine. Okay. Like, what was she thinking at the time? Because I know how they, I know how they passed, and I it starts with an S that she did. S T. I'm not gonna say the word, but. Looking in her children's eyes when she's taking their last breath. I'm not saying the word I gave you, you know, ST part. Like, how could you sit there and look at your child like that when they're struggling? Three beautiful babies. I, I don't understand it. I don't. I don't understand how any parent should do that. Anything to their children. Mental uh, illness or not. Get help. She was showing the signs. Either the the health, the medical standpoint, they failed her or her husband just didn't pursue anything. And if he knew she was going through this, don't leave your children alone, alone with, you know, 
You know, I... Their mother. I do believe... I know, I know that pe their mental illness is a real thing. It's a horrible yeah, thing. it's a real thing. It's and it's horrible. It's a real thing and it's a horrible thing. The brain is a powerful thing. And I know that there's such thing as postpartum. I know... I do feel like, personally, it's, a, it's just my own opinion, but I think that a lot of times it's blamed on postpartum for a lot of things. I mean, every pregnant yeah. woman has the baby blues when they have yeah. a child. I just... But I guess that's a real thing, honey. Yeah, it's a real thing. I'm not saying it's not a real thing. I mean, thing. psychosis, postpartum, that's like worse than I'm actual postpartum. I'm saying that, I think, not in this case, maybe. Obviously not in this case, but... I think there's a lot of times postpartum is, is blamed for everything. Like, you know, when I, I don't know, just yeah, I understand. I don't know if you know where I'm coming from, but but I just want to know your guys' thoughts. Could you forgive? I don't think I could forgive. And I don't think I could be a, I don't think I could be with that person anymore because every time I would look at them, I would imagine what they did to our children. I wouldn't blame my husband for leaving me for that. Even though I had a mental illness, there's hope out there. Go, go sign yourself into a middle ward until you're done. I mean, until you got it under control. It's better than that than hurting your, hurting your babies. She has to live with that the rest of her life though. I don't know. I don't understand it. I really don't understand how people can do that to people. I mean, do that to children alone. Not alone other people, but to children. I don't understand it. chips are soggy that's why I'm using a spoon <laughs> so either she's probably going to be put in a metal ward and she's going to prison one or two and, if she, and according to that that diagnosis you're out of your mind you can't be out of your mind I mean, I don't know if she she probably end up waking up from a bad dream. Mm -hmm. But honey, I just want to know if you like if you could forgive. Like, reason why I'm asking him is because it was a woman that you know. And he's a husband, so and we have children. Not saying, you know, <laughs> you guys all know what I mean. Not. Even if you don't have children, you you know, just hearing that, like, just break your heart. And babies. It bothers me when I hear stories about children being abused or children being um, something like that happening. It, it, especially since I've been a dad. Mm -hmm. You know, I always did before, but especially now that I'm a dad. I mean, and, uh, Ooh, 
mm -hmm. bothers me to watch movies that where children are being mm -hmm. abused or There's so many cases out in the world with that. I'll never understand. I'll never understand it. How anybody can do all that stuff, you know? Another thing I can't, I mean, I can't, I can't even understand, not just abuse, but just neglect. Like, you know, just mm -hmm. believing. Neglect? Believing them, depends over themselves or even even if it's just leaving out of their life, you know, from the very beginning, you know, how people can just have children and not ever take care of them, just not ever want to be a part of their life. Or... Yeah. Ooh. Maybe I'm getting full. <laughs> you guys. what's sad too is you have um, um, organizations that like CPS and things like that mm -hmm. that go in and they take the children for out of the home for neglect or whatever reason it may be and they don't just go in and just take them for just to be taken them there has to be a reason mm -hmm. and then like if the parent does this or does that or follows through with this or that, then they can just, and the, and the child goes into a, um, not an orphanage, but like a foster. Mm -hmm. And then if the parent cleans themselves up or gets this in, in, in to place in their lives or, or whatever that's able to help, um, where the organization CPS places like that see that they're you know able to take mm -hmm. see that they see that that child can go back into the home mm -hmm. then they take the child out of a loving situation and they put them back into the home and then yeah. they're right back in the same situation it might not be right at first but it gradually gets to that point mm -hmm. and then something happens to the child or this or that mm -hmm. or they have to redo the situation yeah. I mean if nothing happens to the child, then, you know, imagine that it's, it's bad when something happens to the child, but also, like, being taken out of the home, put in here, get used to this loving parent, loving home, and then put back into your parents. Imagine the mental mm -hmm. and the emotional stuff on that child. Yeah. I can't, I'm just, sorry, guys, I can go on and on. It's just, mm -hmm. oh. I mean, I'm glad they don't just come in a home and... It's good that parents can get cleaned up, say they had a drug problem or say... You know, it's good that they do that as long as they're really truly cleaning up and really truly wanting to change. Mm-hmm. And they do for the better. But what aggravates me is when courts give the children back to parents who mm -hmm. abused them to begin with. And, and I'm sorry, but if, if you abuse your children and they take your children away because you abuse them, I believe you should never ever get them back. I don't care how much you ch try to change yourself. So in my opinion, I mean, I know people can change, but um, mm -hmm. if you can abuse your child, you stoop so low as to abuse your child, physically harm them. You know, these parents will beat their children or whatever, maybe to the point of where they're about die or whatever and then the courts come in take the, or the CPS takes the kids out and then you know the court grants them mm -hmm. the parent back you know the children back again I just that <clears throat> such when there's there are parents out there that, that want to take care of children mm -hmm. want to have children that I don't get it Yeah, I 
And what it does to the children when they get out of the situation is they think, oh yeah, good, I'm free, I'm free, you know. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go back. They too. saved me, I'm free, and then all of a sudden they put them right back in that situation. Imagine the, what they feel. Yeah, and they can't do nothing about it. And they're it scared too. what they feel, and they, and they can't mm -hmm. do nothing about it. Mm -hmm. It's like they don't have your voice sometimes. No. It's horrible. I think if you see a fear in child's eyes towards like their parent, if you took them out of the home for that reason, mm -hmm. and you see the fear, when let the, if the judge sees the fear, like let the child come in before he makes that verdict. And if they see like the fear and the emotional and, and all, they, the outward, what the child is doing when they come in contact with their parent or yeah. whatever, yeah. then make a ruling off that too. Yeah. It's like the child speaking out. If the child can't say words, yeah. sh look, at, look at their interaction. If they have fear, emotional, I mean, they're scared. Don't put them back in that situation. Yeah. But anyway, guys, I know this has kind of been like a touchy subject, but I just had to, I just wanted your guys' thoughts on all of it, and plus my husband, I, I just seen on Facebook today, and it kind of stuck with me, but um, I am really, really full, <laughs> you guys seen it before, it was like, Phew. and I'm full, and now it's like a, kind of like a taco salad, because my chips are kind of soggy. But yeah, um, I'm going to get out of here because I'm like 27 minutes in. I think it's one of my longest videos so far, almost, besides our Q&A with the chocolate cake. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, if this is the first time ever seeing my channel and seeing me, please consider liking, comment, and subscribing. I truly would appreciate it. Um, I love you all, and I thank you all for your wonderful support, your comments. Um, if I don't get to your comments right away, I will eventually get to them. And yeah, um, this was delicious, and I really appreciate your company. And don't forget to smash that like button, hit um, subscribe, turn that subscribe button from red to not red. I truly would appreciate it. And comment down below. I love hearing from you all, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, my loves.